as-safat. Those ranging in ranks. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Cited as witness are those who range themselves in close ranks in various fields of life and those who drive away the forces of evil vigorously, and those who recite and follow the reminder, the Qur'an. Verily your God is one, Lord of the heavens and the earth, and all that lies between them, and the Lord of the places of the rising and spreading of light. Verily we have beautified and embellished the nearer space, the heaven visible to you, with an excellent embellishment, the stars and planets. And we have placed therein an effective safeguard against every insolently disobedient Satan. They, having no access to the source of prophecy, cannot listen to what goes on in the exalted assembly of the archangel. They are reproached for their false conjectures from every side. They are repulsed. A perpetual punishment awaits them. Yet if any one of them snatches away but once to find out something, he is pursued by a bright shining flame. Therefore, ask them, your opponents, whether it is they, the worldly people, who are harder in creation or those spiritual beings whom we have created. Them we have created out of adhesive sticking clay, so of firm and strong character. Whereas you marvel at this mighty spiritual revelation, they hold you in low estimation. When they are admonished, they pay no heed. And when they see a sign, they seek to scoff at it. And they say, this is nothing but an enchantment, a device causing a split among the people. Well, can it be possible that when we are dead and reduced to dust and bones, we shall be raised to life again? And shall our forefathers of earlier times be also? Say. Yes, and you shall then be disgraced. Then there shall be but a single driving shout, and behold, they will be up and looking on. And they will say, Oh, woe be on us. This is the day of requital. They will be told, This is the day of the last judgment. Yes, the very day you used to cry lies to. Angels will be commanded, round up those who acted unjustly, and their companions, and the things they used to worship. Besides Allah, then lead them towards the way of hell, and hold them up for a while, for they have to be questioned. They will be asked, what is the matter with you, that you do not help one another this day? Rather, they will on that day, being ashamed, be completely submissive, bending their heads low. Some of them will turn to the others, questioning to one another reproachingly. They, the seduced ones, will say to the seducers, Surely you used to approach us with great force, swearing your sincerity to guide us aright. They, the seducers, will reply, it was not so. Rather, you yourselves were not inclined to be the believers. And we had no authority over you to seduce you. The truth is that you yourselves were an unrestrained people and given to excesses. So today we all deserve the judgment of our Lord. We are the sufferers of the punishment for our own evil deeds. So it is we who led you astray, for we ourselves had indeed gone astray. On that day, all of them shall surely share the punishment. Surely 
That is how we deal with the guilty. For when it was said to them, There is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but Allah, they ever turned away in disdain. And they used to say, Are we to forsake our gods for the sake of a mad poet? Nay, this prophet is neither insane nor a poet. The fact is that he brought the everlasting truth and has testified to the truth of all the messengers gone before him. Disbelievers, you will suffer the woeful punishment most certainly. You shall be made to reap the fruit of your own deeds. Different, however, is the case of the chosen servants of Allah, the true and purified ones. It is they for whom there awaits a provision especially earmarked. Fruits. Moreover, they shall be the honored ones and generously treated in the gardens of bliss. They shall be seated on thrones of happiness and dignity face to face. They will be served in a round with a bowl containing pure drink filled at a limpid flowing fountain. Sparkling white, delicious to the drinkers, as a reward for their leading pure, sweet, and flawless lives. Neither these drinks will cause any ruinous effect, nor will they be deprived of intellectual faculties thereby. And they will have chaste wives by their side damsels with restrained and modest looks and with large beautiful eyes just as though they were eggs carefully guarded of pure and unspoiled character then sipping their cups they will turn one to another asking questions one of them will say surely i had an intimate companion in the world who used to say are you indeed one of those who confirm and really believe in the resurrection? Is it true that we shall be reunited when we are dead and reduced to dust and bones? He, the confirmer of the resurrection, will then add, saying, Have a look at that companion of mine to find how he fares. Then as he will have a look at his companion, he will find him right in the midst of hell. He will then say to that companion, By Allah, you had almost caused me to perish. But for the favor and grace of my Lord, I would have also been of those who are facing the punishment today. The owners of paradise will then ask one another, is it not true that we are not going to suffer death again? Ours was only the death we have already met in the world, and we are going to suffer no punishment. This indeed is the mighty achievement on our part. Let those who would strive then strive for the like of this supreme triumph. Does all this state of bliss Make a better welcome than the tree of Zakum, which will serve as food for the people of Jehenna? For we have made this tree a scourge for the wrongdoers. It is a tree which springs forth from the bottom of hell. Its produce is as though it were the heads of serpents. And most surely they, the inmates of hell, shall eat of it and fill their bellies with it. In addition to all this, they will have therein a mixture of boiling water to drink. Then most surely they shall finally go to hell. The thing is, they found their forefathers erring, and they are rushing on in their footsteps as if driven by some inward urge. And most of the ancient people had erred before them. Though we had already sent warners among them. Behold, then, how evil was the end of those who were warned. Different, however, 
was the case of the chosen servants of Allah, the true and purified ones. And Noah did call upon us in his hour of trial. How gracious we are in answering prayers, and how excellent a response did we make. We delivered him and his people from the great distress. And we let his progeny alone to survive. And we left behind him a blessed salutation for the later generations to remember him by. Peace be upon Noah, the prayer being invoked upon him among all the peoples. That is how we reward the performers of excellent deeds. He was surely one of our believing servants. And whereas we saved him and his people, we drowned the rest. And Abraham also belonged to his school of thought. Recall the time when he came to his Lord with a pure heart, and when he asked his sire and his people, What is it that you worship? Do you choose to worship gods made falsely, leaving Allah aside? So what do you take the Lord of the worlds to be, as you people worship false gods? Then he cast a glance at the stars, intimating that their discussion had dragged far into the night, and said, I am indeed sick of your worshiping false gods. So those people turned their backs upon him and left him. Then he turned his attention towards their gods, and with a mind to make their worshippers realize their folly, said, addressing the gods, Do you not eat any of the things that lie before you? What is wrong with you that you do not even speak? He then came upon them, hitting them hard with the right hand. Hearing this news, the people came running to him. He said to them, You worship the things you have chiseled yourselves, whereas it is Allah who has created you. But what is it that you are doing? His opponents said, Build up a pyre for him and throw him into the blazing fire. Thus they designed a plan against him. But we made them to be the most humiliated. Abraham said, I shall go where my Lord bids me. He will surely guide me right to the path leading to success in my mission. And he prayed, My Lord, grant me an issue who is of the righteous. So we gave him the good tidings of the birth of a wise and forbearing son. Now when that son, Ismail, was old enough to work along with him, his father Abraham said, My dear son, I have seen in a dream that I sacrifice you. So consider it and tell me what you think of it. The son said, My dear father, do as you have been commanded. If Allah will, you will find me of the calm and steadfast. Now it so happened, when both of them submitted themselves to the will of God, and he, Abraham, had laid him, Ismail, down on his forehead, we called out to him, saying, O Abraham! You have already fulfilled the vision. That is how we reward those who perform excellent deeds. That was obviously a disciplinary test, crowned with a mighty reward. And a great sacrifice was the ransom with which we redeemed him. And we left behind him, among the succeeding generations, the noble salutation to invoke blessings upon him. Peace be upon Abraham. That is how we reward the performers of excellent deeds. Surely he was one of our believing servants. And we gave him also the good tidings of the birth of Isaac, a prophet, and who is one of the righteous. 
and we bestowed our blessings on him, Ismail, and on Isaac. And among the progeny of both, there are some persons who perform excellent deeds, and also some who are clearly unjust to themselves. We did bestow our favors on Moses and Aaron. We delivered them both and their people from the great distress. And we came to their help against the people of Pharaoh, so it was they who gained clear supremacy. And we gave them both the manifesting book, and we guided them both to the right and straight path. And we left behind both of them a blessed salutation among the generations to come. Peace be upon Moses and Aaron. That is how we reward the performers of excellent deeds. Surely they were both among our believing servants. Verily Elias was also one of the messengers. Recall the time when he said to his people, Will you not guard against evil deeds? Do you call upon Baal, the sun god, and forsake the best creator? Allah, your Lord and the Lord of your forefathers of old? But they cried lies to him, and they will surely be brought before God to account for their deeds. Different, however, shall be the case of the chosen servants of Allah, the purified ones. And we left behind him, Elias, among the succeeding generations, the blessed salutation to be invoked upon him. Peace be upon Elias and his people. That is how we reward the performers of excellent deeds. Surely he was one of our believing servants. And verily, Lot was also one of the messengers. Recall the time when we delivered him and his followers altogether, except an old woman who was among those who stayed behind and did not go with those delivered. And we utterly destroyed the rest. And you surely pass by them, their ruins sometimes, in the morning and sometimes by night. Do you not still make use of your understanding and take heed? And surely Jonah also was one of the messengers. Recall the time when he fled from his people towards the fully laden ship. So he was with those crew who cast lots on board of the ill-fated ship, and his name was among those who were to be thrown overboard in order to keep the ship light and well balanced on account of the storm. And so he was also of those who were cast off in the sea. Then it came about that a big fish took him in its mouth while he was reproaching himself. Had he not been of those who glorify God, he would have surely remained in its belly till the time people are raised up after their death. Then it came to pass that we cast him on a bare and wide tract of land, and he was completely worn out and sick. And we caused a plant of the gourd type, bearing large-sized fruit but the creeper of slender stem, to grow near him. And we sent him back as a messenger at Nineveh to a people hundred thousand strong. Rather, they were even more. They all believed in him, so we provided them gains till the end of their lives. Now ask these disbelievers whether daughters are for your Lord as they assert, and sons for themselves? Or did we create the angels as females in their presence? while they were witnesses of their birth? Beware! It is one of their fabrications that they say, Allah has begotten those as his children. They are liars, of course. Has he chosen daughters in preference to sons? What is the matter with you? How wrongly you judge! Will you take no heed? Or have you a clear authority in your defense for your false beliefs? 
If so, then come out with your authoritative scripture if you are truthful. And they have set up a kinship between him and the jinn, strong and mighty men, whereas the jinn know fully well that they themselves shall be called to account for their deeds. Holy is Allah, far beyond the things they attribute to him. But the chosen servants of Allah, the purified ones, attribute nothing derogatory to him. Disbelievers, neither you, of course, nor the things you worship, none of you can mislead anyone against him, excepting only the person who is himself going to enter hell. The righteous say, each one of us has his assigned place, and most surely we are the ones who stand ranged in rows, attending to the command of God. Verily we are the ones who glorify him and sing his praise. And surely these infidels used to say, Had there been with us an exhortation from the people of old, we would surely have been the chosen servants of Allah, the purified ones. But now they have disbelieved in this book, the Qur'an, when it has come to them. So they will soon come to know the consequences of their disbelief. And we have already given our word of promise to our servants, the apostles, that it is they alone who shall receive our help against the infidels and that it is our armies that shall gain clear supremacy. So turn away from them until a time of your success, and watch what happens to them, and they too will soon see their own doom. Do they seek to hasten on our punishment? But evil shall be the mourning of those who were warned when this punishment shall descend in their precincts. So turn away from them until a time that of your supremacy. And watch what happens to them, and they too will soon see their end. Holy is your Lord, the Lord of all honor and power. He is far above the polytheistic things they attribute to him. And peace be ever upon all the messengers and all type of perfect and true praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the world.